church over there give you a marker so that if you're doing this route I'm doing you'll get a sense of where you are so that must be the church in Bolsham seeing as I'm in Bolsham farm over there a huge great metal green silo things a couple of houses over there okay and then basically I've just come up here from the, that direction this is Fox Road you can't drive this last bit it's too bumpy and then once you get to this green gate here this is where the flea and bike walk starts to the left here so I'm going to go left you can see we had some heavy winds yesterday in the Cane Jerry. We had up to 50 mile an hour gusts of wind and it's brought down. I'm sure I'm going to see more trees down as I do the flea and die walk. That's a hawthorn tree that's snapped off there, blocking this path. So you can mountain bike down there. I'm not entirely sure where you'd come out when you go down that path there, but. And a couple of years ago, this green gate wasn't here, so I guess this is farmers put this in to stop travellers etc from accessing this land and this is this is it this will be your clue uh, once you can see the wind farm like this you know you follow this hedge line to get to the start of Fleam Dyke I, I count this as the start of Fleam Dyke I don't know whether it officially starts a bit further along or not but um, I suppose it does because this is not raised or dug out lands but I'll show you when you get to the real proper start but to most people I'd call this the Stark Flea and Dyke Walk so there's those green silos I showed you before if I stop talking you can really hear the wind turbine turn around I'll shut up for a minute and just listen Right, let's just see how many I can actually see from, from this angle anyway. One, two, three is really close to me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve. Oh, there's one over there. Thirteen. Thirteen, and this is the Bolsham wind farm site.